Hi and welcome to Icy Kicks. On today's show we've got something completely different for you. It's this, drifting. Now we've never had an RC drifting car on the show before and now we have this. I uh, hope you've enjoyed all the new kind of RC stuff that we're getting on the show. We've done tanks, trucks, drones and aeroplanes and we're going to keep expanding everything. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am as it makes it a lot more fun doing so many different genres from the RC world. Now this is an MST RMX-D VIP. Now this isn't a brand new kit. This was gifted to me by a lovely viewer called Sven. Massive shout out to him. Thanks very much for donating this to the show. And what we're going to do is we'll unbox it, take a look at it today. It is built already. Now this isn't a new one. This has been out for quite a while. This came out eight years ago. But I tell you what, when you see it, beautiful quality and I must admit this is the second MST that I've had on the show and uh, they definitely produce some quality stuff. So what else can I tell you about this RMXD? Well on the side is a very handy label that says that this was actually packed at 10.53 a.m. very precise on the 27th of the 12th 2014. Now this kit as far as I could work out on the internet came out in November 2014 so this is quite an early kit. Now this one is 53212 Seven. Now I looked it up online and I did find 532125. What I think that may be is to do with the anodizing kit color. Now the default one they sort of show in all their promotional is the purple one. This is actually the silver one. So I'm assuming that that's why the last digit is slightly different. Now I looked around online now and you can still buy these but I didn't, I didn't spend too long but I had a quick look and I found some that are in stock. £558. So that's quite an expensive chassis. But then when you take a look at this, it is kind of high end stuff. It's all carbon, it's very beautiful, and there's a lot of aluminium. So I can kind of see where the money went. Now, is this drifted car wasted on me, being that I have no experience with drift cars? Oh, yeah, totally. All right, so let's open it up. So now this is not a brand new one, obviously, like I've said. Now we get a manual, but this is not a full build manual. This is a manual that mainly covers things like setting up your electronic speed controller, your motor, your body pins, your suspension, that kind of stuff. It does have a full parts list, which is great, but it's not like it tells you how to actually build everything. It has got an exploded diagram at the beginning, which gives you all the part numbers, which is really cool. So that's really nice to have. Now there is a whole bag of bits and pieces in here. So we've got the choice of, we've got body pins, but we've also got, these didn't come in the kit. These were given by Sven. We also have magnets. So we could do a magnet body mount system. There is loads of bits and pieces in here. Let's take a look. So we've got extra shims body mounts different types of body mounts <laughs> look at this he's put this in <laughs> intercooler and then we've got loads of spare screws i guess uh what's this then turnbuckles this is probably to do with the servo uh, steering servo what's this then we've got some stickers some small tiny stickers uh what else have we got here that looks like the rear sort of protective spoiler couple of body pins then a whole load of body mounts so we should have enough options to actually build quite a decent way to fit the body so but what body are we going to fit on it that's what i want to know so we've got full set so i'm not sure i'd like to try and use the magnets if i could but we'll see depends on the body we go for what else have we got in here what are they is that spoiler wings that looks like Realistic alloy rear wing mounts. So we can put some big spoiler on it, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it from that point of view. Right, let's take a look at what's in the box itself. I'm just going to make this lot disappear. Right, let's make some space. So let's have a look at the actual kit that we've got. Oh, there's a few other bits and pieces in there as well. Let's have a look. So here we go. So as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. Look at the amount of aluminium that's on this kit. It's beautiful. He didn't use it at all when he sent it to me. So it's, as, it's basically brand new. It's never had any electronics installed on it. I put his name in it so I wouldn't forget who it is. Every time someone sends me a car or a chassis, I try to keep 
their paper. If they send me a letter, I keep the letter with it. And I've started printing out and putting people's names on it so that I could actually remember who sent it to me so that later on I can look back or if I want to contact them, I know who to contact. So as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Right, let's take a closer look. The quality of the machined aluminium is beautiful. Now this has got a one-way front diff and a rear spool fitted in it. The steering on this thing is super smooth and there's almost no play in the front whatsoever so they did a fantastic job dialing out all the slop. The suspension is super silky and the rear shocks are right out at the end of the arms. So this is where it comes to you. What sort of servo should I put in it? What sort of electronic speed controller and brushless motor? What would be the best I can fit in this? Obviously budget is limited, but I wanna put something really decent in this. Also, what body do I want on it? I do like the MST rims that are on it right now. And being that they're adjustable, it gives me more flexibility when I put a different body on it. I did think about doing maybe a Porsche, but I don't know, I'm open to suggestions. I want it to look really sort of street drifty. So uh, I wanna do something a little bit different. Comment below, let me know.